Welcome to Retro Crisis, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use no intro dat files alongside ROM Center. So, the first step is to go to no intro's website, which is no intro.org. From here, you want to go to the dat omatic link. Once there, you want to go to download. Then you'll see a list of all the no intro files for the system they support. You simply need to download the dat file for the system that you're interested in. So for the example I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to download the Sega Master System no intro dat file. Here we go, Sega Master System. And then I want to click on this floppy disk icon. If I hover over it, it'll say dat file. So click that and then you'll be presented with a list of options. You're more than welcome to uh, tweak some of these options, but for this video, I'm just going to avoid all these options and just click on prepare. Once there, you'll see a list of colors and you just need to ensure that the color you click matches the color that they're requesting and then simply save the file. Now we have the DAT file. We need to make sure we've installed ROM Center. So you want to go to romcenter.com. Once you're on romcenter.com, go to download and then simply download the latest version. So you can either click the Windows installer version or the portable version. The choice is yours. In this video, I'm going to click the portable version. Once it's completed downloading, simply extract the contents of the zip file and save the folder wherever you find most convenient. Once you've done that, you want to open up the ROM Center executable file. Now the first thing we need to do is create a database. So you want to click on new. And in this first option where it says select source dat file, I'm going to go to the location where I saved my dat file and then go to open. And after that, you want to create the database file. So I've created a folder for myself called databases, which I keep separate from my dats. And I have named the database after the dat file, just so it's easy for me to keep track of which databases relate to which dat files. Once you've done that, click on filters and you're able to tweak various options within the filters screen. I personally just leave it on the default settings so largely ignore any of these options. Next option down is the advanced settings and here again you're able to manipulate settings depending on what your requirements are. I generally just leave them on these default options. The one option I do change is under fix options. There's a section that instructs ROM Center as to what it should do with corrupted files. I prefer to move my corrupted files to a folder and not directly to the recycle bin. So you click on the three little dots and the folder that I've made is called backup and rejected. So any bad ROM files that ROM Center detects, it will send them here first and then I can decide afterwards if I want to delete them or not. And then once you've done that, you can simply click create a database and then it takes a few moments to create the database. You may see this plugin identification pop up appear with some systems. Uh, I just simply click yes. And there, after a couple of moments, you'll see the database has been produced. So this is a list of all the games identified within the no intro dat file that you downloaded. So these should be the most up-to-date names for the ROM files. Now what you want to do now is add your folder of ROM files which relate to this particular system and you want to import those into ROM Center. So what you want to do is go to ROM files here, right click and go to add. Once you've done that simply choose the folder which contains all the ROMs that you want to import. So I'm going to go to ROMs, Sega Master System and click on select folder. And then it takes a few minutes to import all the ROMs and you can just wait patiently. All of your ROMs have been imported. Now you'll see there's different colored icons against each ROM file. Green means that it's fine, it's good. Anything with a yellow basically means that it needs to be renamed or fixed. You can see here, for example, the ROM file I have is called Ace of Aces brackets Europe. However, it's detected as a bad name. So if I scroll to the right and just expand this column here, you'll notice that the correct name should be Ace of Aces brackets Europe and Brazil. And there's a good chance you'll notice loads of ROMs that have the wrong file name. So in order to fix these, you can simply click the ROM you want to fix, right click on it and go to fix items. And bingo, you'll notice it's gone green and the correct name's been applied. Now rather than clicking on each incorrect file name one by one, it's entirely possible to bulk change all the names with just a few clicks. So what you want to do is go to your ROM files, right click and click fix items and you'll notice in a few moments all the yellows will be turned to greens. 
And once that's done, you'll notice your entire ROM collection will be named correctly. And that's it. Click here to close the database, and then you're free to delete the database file and the nointro dat file that you use to clean up your ROM library, and simply repeat the process when a new updated nointro dat file is released. So download the new dat file and create a new database and repeat the fixing process. And that in a nutshell is how you use nointro dat files with ROM Center. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do consider clicking like, and I hope you would subscribe to the channel. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.